Alright, bro. Tell her where the Chick fil A is, then you can give her the Chick fil A. Know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. We have officially gone too far. Bad news, bad. Okay, culture has finally returned. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jay is here today to talk to you for a minute. Hold on one second. Let me actually just... <sighs> okay, so I'm just going to give you guys some short stuff today. Not really trying to dive into too much. I just came back, okay? So this is not a full, full episode of Canon Culture, okay? This is more like a culture clip i guess if you guys aren't familiar with the show welcome back or welcome to the first time this is canon culture uh <laughs> the show where basically we talk about the narrative of the entertainment industry and everything that comes across it all the stuff that we deem necessary to talk about and just talk about the culture revolving around it and how can we necessarily make this canon how are we pushing the narrative of the entertainment industry okay I'm your boy Jay Sama, so, uh, but you already knew that by clicking on this video, so today uh, we're going to be talking about a few things. Now, um, I know it's a little late because this happened on Monday, but I wanted to talk about this. This Oh, um, nope, whoa, nope, not that, not that, hold on, that's, that's a little personal. There we go, boom. So today we are talking about, I know, I know you guys are probably going to be like, Jay's talking about Fortnite? What? N no, we're talking about Ninja today and how... It just doesn't doesn't seem right. None of this seems right, man. Your boy Ninja is under fire today, specifically from The Verge. Um, so a lot of people are just really deceived by this title, okay? Ninja's unwillingness to stream with women is a problem that points to a larger problem. This is done. This article is made by Megan Fuckham or whatever the fuck your name is. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at her Twitter. All right. So this chick, if this chick does not look like a SJW, bro, if she does not look like, I don't know what they look like. I don't know what they look like, but I'm just going to point out that we know exactly who this is. All right. So now that we know now she's saying that this points to a larger problem, but as I read this article, all she's really doing is just putting this big ass heavy weight on Ninja that he didn't fucking ask for. So check this out. If you guys weren't aware, Ninja has this rule where he does not stream with female streamers. Why you may ask? To avoid controversy and, and just all out gossip and harassment revolving his wife. Okay, so imagine this, right? You're talking to a girl and all of a sudden your homies see that you're talking to her it may not be nothing to you, but as soon as you walk back over to your homies, they be like, oh, so you talking to her? What's good? What's going on, bro? What's what's happening? What's What y'all doing? Even though you were giving her directions to the nearest fuck you hole, okay? Like, it don't matter where you were giving her directions to. It doesn't matter the con context of the conversation. It doesn't matter what you were actually talking about. Your boys didn't already made this face. Like, that's what you doing? That's what you doing? Don't you got a girl, bro? Don't you got a girl, bro? I, I see you out here slaying the poom poom. Like, listen, bro. I just gave her directions to the nearest Chick-fil-A. That's all I did, okay? Is down the street. All right, bro. Tell her where the Chick-fil-A is. Then you can give her the Chick-fil-A. Know what I'm saying? I get it. I understand the sentiment behind it. I understand the reasoning. But this chick here, unsurprisingly, Blevin's belief that the only way to avoid that gossip is to not play with women at all. Then she goes into talking about this man's stats, his 16 million subs on YouTube, 10 million on Twitch, and over 3 million followers on Twitter. Then she goes into talking about this article, in this article, that it is basically his responsibility that he creates trends and like he's big enough to set the standard of the industry don't be putting that responsibility on my boy. It is not, he is not responsible. He is not, nobody is entitled to stream with Ninja, male or female, okay? Now, Megan, I know you may not understand this, 
at all in any way, shape, or form. But just because you are capable of changing something that exists, just because you are capable of influencing people, does that not mean that you are obligated to do so? Once again, for the stupid people in the back, just because you can change things does not mean you're obligated to. Then she goes into even further discussion that I don't even, to be honest with you guys, I don't even want to read the rest of this, okay? I just want to reiterate, I just want to present this to my audience and let you guys go to the original article and form your own opinion, okay? Because I am, I may be influential than most people's dads, but I'm just going to let you know right now. I'm not about to tell you how, a way to think. I'm not about to tell you a way to form your own opinion. You guys can do that yourself. Read the article and do what you will. By the way, Megan's Twitter is uh, located right here at the top in case you guys want to um, go and, and give a piece of your mind to her. The next topic we're talking about today is um, one that I think is near and dear to everybody's heart. Okay, so in case you're not familiar with the amazing phenomenon that is Doja Cat, um, she put out a song this past week called, just simply called Moo. And I have to say it is one of the catchiest things on the internet I have happened to get attached to since uh, Coney 2012. I'm just saying it is it is literally that just like, oh my God, there's just so much going on here. I actually, actually what I want to do, Moo is popular. Moo is popping, but I don't want this to be a Moo video, okay? I feel like Moo needs its own video, so we about to move the hell up out the way, okay? So I just want to check this out. We're going to go to her channel, and I want to sort... No, 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 sweetie, sweetie, please. Shh, shh, shh. I just want to sort out right now. I just want to sort out her videos, okay? Let's go to posted videos, uploads. I want to arrange by... Can you do sort by most popular? We're going to get Moo at the top. Oh, so, okay, so we only got, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Come on, y'all. What is going on here? Sort by most popular. And it just deletes every video. 1.6 million views. That's it? That's all, that's all we're, that's all we're doing here? Come on now. Come on now. All right, let's, let's see. This is audio. Doja Cat Go to Town official video. Okay, I want to check this out. Let's just listen here. What the fuck? Yeah, 2.7 million views. What the fuck? What? Hey, this shit low key slap. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. It's weird, but I'm into it. What is going on? <laughs> okay, I gotta stop it here. Pause. Pause. I've only watched a minute of this video, and I gotta say, I'm excited. I don't. I don't know what's going on in this video. I kind of want to fat. And now she has a different hairstyle. You know what? I feel like this is something. I don't want to spoil this. I don't want to spoil this, I, guys. I'm gonna leave everything that. All, both of these videos, all of these videos, everything that I'm talking about today, I'm going to leave all of this stuff in the description. I want to know what you guys think. Please, steer the conversation away from me. Just because this is canon culture does not mean that I influence the culture in any way, shape, or form. All I do is diagnose it and then give my opinion afterwards. So, in this particular video, I'm not, I'm not going to give my opinion just because I want to hear what you guys have to say. All right, maybe you guys can help me influence mine. What do, what is the metaphor to this video? What does this video mean? Like I just really want to know like what is what's up with this cake? Are we eating this cake? What's up with the bubbles and this look like a Trisha Paytas video. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. All right. We have we have officially gone too far. The internet has done too much today. I'm I'm out. I'm out 5000, bro. 
I'm Audi 5000. So, but yeah, that's all we're talking about today. As you guys can see, I'm I'm excited to do more stuff. I'm excited to talk about more stuff. But uh, I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Go ahead and let me know and uh, give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys dislike today's video, make sure to hit the dislike button. But if you're going to do that, at least scroll down to the comment section and let me know why you disliked it. I just, I think I have the right to know. I think you should tell me. Don't be, don't be a douchebag, all right? Just go down there and tell me, yo, I just didn't like your crazy ass changing backgrounds every 35 seconds, you know? So if you could just not do that, don't worry, homie. I got you for the next one, I promise, okay? And I do also want to remind you guys that, uh, that any, any, at any point, if you would like to support the Sama Sanctum, you guys can always sub to my Twitch channel or you can actually start a subscription right here on YouTube. I have the join button. Scroll down. That'll be down below, just above the uh, description section. So you guys should see that. But this has been your boy Jay Sama. I will catch you guys next week. Make sure to keep it canon. Oh.